Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see simple technique of how to design a foam pad pad model in any mechanical software. This video helps to provide a fair representation technique to create a successful foam pad model. So friends, in this video you can get the step by step guidelines for foam pad model creation. Foam pad model moves back pad and cushion pad. Also designer can get simple and easy technique. How he can verify and cross check the inputs like seat trim outline in short we are calling as STO seat trim outline which we received from individual business unit or foam engineering scan team or scan department because it is not necessary which designer received inputs will be every time correct so input data which we received from the scan team designer has to analysis these surfaces or that data cross check those data it is the designer's responsibility if the received input having any issues like tiny surface missing or surface overlap smoothness not maintained at specific curve any tooling issues like ejection direction not over properly to the whole part so it will create a problem during the ejection etc then please immediately communicate with the engineering scan team for getting the modified or updated STU that is seat trim outline also we are going to see what is underbuilds and overbuild or back and cushion pad how designer it can develop what is trench curve and trench solid what is augering windows what is its purpose and during designing it which design criteria need to follow and we'll see many more things so let's sit back relax watch this video and learn things in a practical way any designer who having basic CAD software skills can make foam pad model by using this video tutorial we are making a foam pad model which is easily editable or modifiable so that in a future any design changes or modifications we can do easily without killing our time during making CAD model we are using hybrid modeling techniques means designer should know the basic about solid and surface modeling of any software use of solid modeling and surface modeling called as the hybrid modeling or you can say the hybrid technique when we are talking about the softwares those who are beginners in a design field must have to know the types of mechanical softwares from their perspective I am explaining about the software types. So, providing the basic information about the mechanical softwares. Basically, mechanical software classified into three types. First one is the low end software. In low end software, which are having the specific features due to that used for the specific purpose, like example AutoCAD or MDT, you can say in AutoCAD. It is mostly used for a drafting purpose. Modeling and surfacing features are having limitations to use. It is not very much flexible and no other modules are also included in AutoCAD. So called as the low end software. Second category is the middle end software. Those softwares are used for modeling, manufacturing and limited surfacing or modeling flexibility. For example, Mastercam. It is mostly used for manufacturing. Modeling and surfacing point of view, Mastercam having the limitations like solid work or solid edge, Dell cam, all are the middle end softwares. And the third category is the high end software. In high end software, you can consider as a Unigraphics, Catia, Creo, Ansys, etc. All are high end softwares due to their enhanced features and their modules like surfacing, modeling, manufacturing, assembly, sheet metal wizard, die design wizard, electrical routing, mechanical routing and many more modules are also included with these softwares. This basic software information definitely helpful for beginners or the new designers. Now friends, we are continuing with the Top foam pad creation. Every time foam pad will be different for different variant and different segments of vehicles. But this foam pad designing guideline will remain same. So designer should have to note this thing. What is foam pad? Foam pad 
consists of two types of surfaces that is a surface and b surface a surface it is the top surface of the pad this is the portion where occupant or the passenger sits or he can relax on that top surface that surface is called as the a surface it is a visible surface to the occupant or passenger b surface it is underside or you can say back side of a pad look at the image on the screen you can see the a surface that is the top surface so that the occupant can see that surface easily the bottom surface which we are unable to see that is called as the b surface before going to start the cad model we should have to learn and understand the theory about the foam what is foam we are going to see the foam which we are using for vehicle industry or automobile industry that is called as the polyurethane foam you can see the image on the screen the main chemical composition of foam is polyol isocyanate releasing agents surfactants catalyst and water all are this the chemical composition of polyurethane foam it is made up of all these components now going to see the important properties of foam first is the density density is important for a durability of a foam pad if it is not durable then consumer will not be used higher the foam density better the durability of the seat foam pad are required to take at least 2 lakh cycles of durability during the physical tests of a foam supplier has to conduct the trials in his industry and after completion of his trial he can send the report to the oem then only it will confirmed that during density point of view which factors going to focus that is hardness second is flammability third is the tensile strength fourth elongation and fifth is the tear strength all these parameters we should have to be concentrate during the density when anyone's talking about the foam or polyurethane foam that time we should have to know the technical terms that is the tdi and mdi that is tolin disocyanate that is tdi tolin disocyanate and mdi that is methylene diphenyl disocyanate these are the two manufacturing technologies we use in polyurethane tdi uses less heat in making and curing of foam so it is called as the cold foam mdi is called as the hot foam before going to start the cad model of foam pad designer need to know which design inputs required for foam design that is he required the edge point what is edge point i have already explained in my previous session or you can say in previous video which i have shared the link below in the description box the edge point that is the coordinates which oem will provide to the supplier second sto that is a seat trim outline these are the inputs which designer has received from the oem or you can say the styling team third is the environmental data which is required and fourth thing is the structures in case of environmental data we should have to required the floor door panel and its surrounding data as a structure point of view designer should have to required cushion panel back panel back frame brackets latches headrest headrest rods etc these are the design inputs required before going to start foam pad cad design after completion of the foam when we are assembled that foam in the vehicle we should have to understand which tests required to perform on that foam these tests are first one is the durability test that cushion assembly pad and cover fatigue test using the buttock foam that is 2 lakh cycles 
should have to test cushion structure fatigue test using the hemi spherical form that is also a 2 lakh cycles side wedges test that is a 25000 cycles for front and 50000 for rear seat form ingress and egress tests need to be conducted and last is the flammability test all these tests are need to be required to performed on forms now need to understand the process of a form first thing is that sto seat rim outline which we have to receive from the customer foam pad modeling once we received the sto then packaging of a foam pad third stage fourth is prototype release of a drawing then proto and trim feedback then proto tooling after that edge point testing rim trials review with prototype trim and assembly departments reproduction trials are also conducted and at last production tools these are the various processes of a foam as a regulatory requirement point of view we should have to understand which requirements we should have to follow for the foam first is the vertical distance between mannequin head to head restraint that is less than or is equal to 50 mm second point height of head restraint from the edge point along the torso line front seats minimum 800 mm rear seats minimum 750 mm height of head restraint along torso line is 100 mm width of head restraint 65 mm from the minimum no sharp edges in the head restraint area these are the regulatory requirements in form we follows i have already explained the seat regulations related to the fmvss federal motor vehicle safety standards and ece that is economic commission of europe standards i have already explained in my previous video it is related to the seat seat design please refer those videos i have shared its link in the below description box before going to start cad model designers should require some inputs like edge point frame of a back pad or cushion pad seat surrounding data like floor mat door panel dashboard console position etc and sto that is seat trim outlines like a surface models sto will be provided by the individual business unit or home engineering scan team hopefully the studio sto and frame data will receive as an input in the form of a surface or solid bodies friends now we are going to see how we can create back cushion sections and what's its purpose to create it step 1 take point command in which software you are using create a point during creating a edge point designer should have to use edge point coordinates which we have to receive as a input from oem or from our business unit for an example you can see in the image on the screen x y z those are the coordinates a rail angle is also mentioned and torso angle related to the rail angle and torso angle i have already explained in my earlier video link has given in the description box please refer driver seat x y z coordinates are there for the rear seat out bonded also provided and rear seat center is also there so in such a way that the designer will receive the inputs from the oem or from any business unit 